and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I am going to be reviewing the brand new Becca Under Eye products that they have been um, advertising all over the place. We are going to be um, reviewing these products today. It is an under eye primer, which I have never tried an under eye primer before. And we have a good old under eye brightening setting powder. Without further ado, let's jump right into the demo. So the first product that I'm going to be demoing and reviewing for you today is the Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. And I have actually never tried an under eye primer before, so I was really interested to see how this was going to work, if it was going to do anything. I have tried the product one time, and um, I had kind of like mixed reviews about it, but I'm going to try it for a second time today and see if I had sort of the same result or any sort of different result. But it's basically like a little balm, and how you're supposed to use it is you are supposed to rub your finger in the balm and then kind of rub it between your fingers to warm it up even more although I have to say not a lot comes out of the pan when you rub it you really have to kind of dig in there a little bit to get a decent amount and then you're supposed to warm it between your fingers and then just sort of gently tap under your eyes now I do have a light under eye cream already under my eyes because I put one on every day so I would imagine this can be used with your normal skincare routine and I'm just going to tap it in and I'm going to do one eye with the primer and one eye without the primer just to show you guys the difference so looking in the mirror I can notice a little bit of a brightening effect on this side and it kind of slightly like mattifies the area a little bit which might prep it for concealer a little bit better I do actually there is quite a difference there if I'm looking in the mirror. I didn't notice a difference when I used it the other day before work, but looking in the mirror now with, well, at, like when I have a whole face of foundation on, um, it actually does look quite a bit brighter. So maybe this product is better than I originally thought. But so I just sort of gently tapped it under there. Nothing too much to it. It's like this light blue color. So I don't know. It's kind of a strange looking product. It's not really what I expected it to look like, but um, I guess this is what eye primers look like. So it is on very very simple very quick we are going to try a concealer over top now this is my kind of holy grail ride or die concealer that i use every single day it is the sephora smoothing and brightening concealer so i am going to use this just because it's a tried and true for me i know it works every single time so introducing a new product i'm going to know that if this doesn't work with this on this side of the face it's because of the primer and not because of the concealer so i'm going to apply this to both sides this concealer in with my finger all right so that is blended in and I am going to zoom you in with my better lens so you can get a picture of how the product looks super close up. So the problem I had when I applied it the other day was it actually made my concealer settle a bit weird. I had like little patches that were clingy and just strange so we're gonna see if it happens this time around so as i look up close it doesn't seem to be happening the concealer seems to really have applied just as well as it applies with the eye cream alone so i guess that's a good thing and i do notice maybe a tiny bit of brightening on this side it's okay so this is the side with the primer this is the side with the eye cream I'm not seeing a huge difference in the viewfinder. It is supposed to work over time, like it's supposed to decrease puffiness over time as you use it more and more. So I wouldn't expect like a huge difference right away necessarily, but I don't know. I'm just really not seeing that much of a difference. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the under eye brightening setting powder and basically this is supposed to set your makeup, brighten your under eyes, and blur imperfections. All of the things we want to see when we set our under eye concealer. I go, But basically the instructions say to just get a little bit on a brush, which is how I always apply loose setting powder under the eyes anyways, because I don't find, um, I find the, the baking thing sometimes to work for me and sometimes to not work as well for me. So we are going to just do it with a brush. Um, and essentially I just took a little bit, tapped it in the lid, tap off all the excess, 
start from the outside in and just gently tap. Now when I used this the other day, I did find that it, it emphasized dry patches a little bit. So I'm kind of concerned about people using this that suffer with really dry under eyes. If you do use this powder, make sure to very, very thoroughly moisturize your under eye. It is lightweight as they claim. I will say it is very lightweight. Um, it's not the worst offender in terms of settling into fine lines, but like I said, it did, it did when I used it before settle into my dry patches a little bit. So that's kind of a big downside. It set my under eyes well, I would say no better than like my hourglass ambient lighting powder um so i you know it's sort of just right in the middle there and yeah it, it has a, a little bit of a nice brightening effect i wouldn't say it's like blowing me out of the water but here it is applied and i will zoom you in like i did before so we can take a look up close and then after that i will give you my final thoughts on these products okay guys so now that both products have been demoed for you I'm going to tell you that I'm just kind of middle of the road on both of these products. I'm honestly not blown away. I spent over 60 bucks on the two of the products combined and I don't feel like I don't feel like I'm in the place where I can say, "Oh, these are products that I cannot live without. These are life-changing." Anything like that. I think they're both just kind of mediocre. I don't think the under eye primer really does a whole heck of a lot more than my under eye cream that I use and it just seems like a little gimmicky. I don't know. I am obsessed with under eye products and I'm more than willing to try anything and everything to make my under eyes look better, brighter, less puffed. Um, so I don't know. I, it's just it's just sort of like, okay. I mean, they're okay products, but do you need them? I don't know. The setting powder is the exact same way. It's a nice setting powder. It's light under the eyes. It doesn't overly settle in fine lines. However, I have had it settle um, in dry patches a bit. It does a nice job setting the makeup over hours at a time, and it has some nice brightening and blurring qualities to it. But again, is it significantly better than the under eye setting powders that I already have? Not really. I mean, if you don't have an under eye setting powder, I would recommend this. It's a nice setting powder, especially for people that don't bake under their eyes and do tend to go for a little bit of a more natural under eye area, this is going to be a nice powder for you. It's going to it's going to work well. But if you're somebody like me who already has a lot of makeup, is this going to be a life-changing addition to my collection? No. So those are my overall thoughts. I really hope this review and demo was helpful for you guys. Definitely leave suggestions and comments down below of other products you want me to review. I really do my best to get my hands on a lot of the products that you request for me. Um, I do have to keep my budget in mind, so I might not be able to get every single one of them, but a lot of them I have been able to get and compare and contrast for you. So, um, so yeah, that completes the review. I really hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and enter the giveaway I have going on right now, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!